Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm putting face to face two of the most iconic and legendary martial arts when it comes to monumental and aesthetic throwing and they are Judo versus Greco-Roman wrestling. This is not to show which one is superior, they're both great, they're both top tier martial arts but this video is made to show the common moves used but however how the setups differ and how the situation or the circumstance in order to go for that throw highly differ uh, some setups may seem very paradoxical however they lead to the same throw and this is why it is very important to look at these two just monumental martial arts that go back centuries and see how they are both just not only amazing when it comes to throwing but the little intricacies and subtleties that make them different but also very much alike so i decided to do this if you don't know greco-roman you're not allowed to grab the legs nor use the legs in order to throw your opponent so it is a bit like judo when it comes to restriction of the legs and the first is tawara geishi versus the body lock takedown uh, Body lock takedown is quote unquote suplex, but it's made uh, famous by professional wrestling. However, uh, normal wrestlers or real wrestlers call it the body lock takedown. So, Tawara Geishi is when someone loses their posture, you can body lock their waist and throw them over your head backwards. Uh, it's different than the Uranage, we're gonna see it later on. So. They're either shooting on your legs and you prevent them, you sprawl and then you continue with Tawara Geishi or you have their posture broken with uh, grip fighting and kumikata. Uh, it's gonna be far different uh, setup in uh, Greco-Roman wrestling. It's actually, it comes from the parterre position. Parterre, if you don't know, it means on the ground literally in French and it's a round that starts with a defendant on all fours and you have to attack them so that's why they might be wobbly and then you flip them using Tawara Geishi it's considered technically a body lock takedown in wrestling this is a perfect example of Tawara Geishi used in wrestling from the parterre uh, position or parterre round the second one being the Daki Wakare it's uh, different from the Uranage in Judo again versus the body lock takedown uh, it's a low someone like kind of like being parterre but mainly it comes from someone that did like a failed Uchimata or Haraigoshi and then they just uh, go limp on you in order to not get reversed but uh, you go down and then you throw them almost like diagonally here is a daki wakari from a standing position someone goes limp and then you throw them sideways rather than uh, up above you and directly behind so as i as i mentioned either from like uh, someone that failed a throw here the hanegoshi they go limp in order not to get reversed and then you throw them sideways kind of like a suplex or uranage so here you can see it comes from parterre position very similar to uh, judo and they are thrown sideways so uh, this is the thing about judo it has intricacies like the little the little differences can become a very different technique this is uh, an example of daki wakare being thrown to the side and backwards and this is more like uranage so the third one is of course the uranage very famous in Georgian and Russian uh, wrestling, uh, Chirkishvili, Gviniashvili, they do it just amazing. However, the difference in this is that in judo, uh, there is uh, use and assistance of the leg. If you see how they kick forward in order to assist their lift, this, however, in Greco Roman is forbidden, so it almost becomes like a deadlift and back with like a huge back arch and then. Uh, like a body lock backwards so this is one of the differences in uh, judo is that the uranage or the body lock take down backwards they use their leg they kick forward to assist the lift easing up the momentum and hence using less strength and also there's grabbing of the gi which we're not gonna dispute because it's such an obvious thing I'm not gonna even talk about it but the leg assistance is a very crucial detail that 
creates a difference between the suplex or body lock backwards and the uranage. So here, let's see it in wrestling. Uh, there's no leg. However, it's like a, a huge arch back. There's no uh, assistance with the leg. And just shows how much strength that these men possess in order to create these monumental throws and the back flexibility. Uh, this is just a beast of a martial art. If I wasn't a judoka and I had uh, no preference for submissions, I couldn't care for submissions, I would have 100% became a Greco-Roman wrestler. It's actually one of the martial arts I researched when I was getting closer to my black belt test in Aikido and know that knew that I had to change because I wanted to be a fighter. So the fourth one is the Ippon Seo Enage and Seo Otoshi versus the arm throw in wrestling. So here we can see Ebinuma. Uh, here you can see there's a distance in order to throw. There, your opponent has to have like uh, his arms a little bit extended and then you fill the gap with turning your back and here throwing the arm. Ebinuma is such a boss. There's also Seo Otoshi where you go down on your knees and uh, you let them roll on your back. Seo Enage is throw but Seo Otoshi is a drop. Uh, a lot of people think that you do like a, a leg block kind of like uh, Tai Otoshi but that's not it. Uh, when you roll them over your back it's Seo Otoshi, but when you throw them over your ha your back using your hips, it's Seo Enage. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, you see someone drops on their knees all the time in competition and they call it Seo Enage, but when they roll them over their back, it's actually Seo Otoshi, like here you see on both knees. Uh, but you don't lift your hips up to assist the lift. That's the difference. I'll let Hal Sharp explain it. This is Seoi Nage with both knees on the floor. We judge so because after going down on both knees, the throw was made by raising the hip and hoisting the opponent's frame. So let's see it in wrestling. The setup is monumentally different. Why? Because uh, first of all, they need to isolate an arm using like a cross shoulder like shoulder to shoulder but they're like diagonally uh, opposed and then you isolate one arm there's like many grips in wrestling you have collar tie uh, you have uh, russian tie you have uh, like arm drag i am try i did a little bit of research in order to do this video however when it comes to the arm throw in wrestling you have to isolate an arm you get really close you really close the gap before you turn however in judo you need like a big gap in order for you to turn and then throw so you isolate an arm and you basic here it's like a reverse seonage which is super cool so you close the distance and then you throw in judo you need a distance in order to turn which is different uh, here the final one is the koshiguruma versus the head and arm throw koshiguruma it's like a hip toss uh, grabbing the head uh, wrapping it around and then you pull towards you and lift with the hips and you let them really roll around your hips in order to go down there's also kubinage which uses far less uh, hips you don't really lift them on your uh, hips you just let them roll on your hips very different from koshiguruma kind of like ogoshi and ukigoshi uh, let's see it in wrestling uh, you ice here you just roll down with them you go down into a pin the pin is very crucial in wrestling uh, one second and it's over very different than Osai Komi where you need like 20 seconds but in wrestling you need to have both uh, shoulders pinned uh, however in Osai Komi in judo even if you lift your shoulders but you cannot get out of the position the pin is still valid, but uh, in wrestling, if you lift one shoulder, kind of like WWE, uh, the pin is not valid. So that's why it's uh, one second and in competitions, it's three seconds. So here you can see uh, there's use of a lot of hips and a little bit of hips. So Kubinage and Koshiguruma, they bit differ. Here it's 100% Koshiguruma. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. I figured I would compare the two because 
these takedowns are very much similar however the setups differ a lot especially Seo Inage. Seo Inage, when someone is extending their arms you, it's like basically calling for a Seo Inage. you just turn around using the space they are giving you and then throw with it in wrestling you really come close to them belly to belly or chest to chest isolating one arm and leaving no gap and there you throw with the arm throw so this one for example is very uh, crucial uh, it's very paradoxical one is closing the space and the other is needing space uh, using their opponents push towards them and also the kick in the uranage is very much different from the body lock just shows how much strong and determined wrestlers are and like i said both of them legendary and beast martial arts uh, this was shady and thank you for listening